Hi everyone and welcome back. So what we are going to do is as we have decided that we are going to use GitHub Actions and GitLab CI. These are the two platforms we are going to use. So first of all we need to copy, we need to clone our code to GitLab also. So GitLab and GitHub. Now we also need to understand some basic concept like okay we have a GitLab, GitHub and maybe you have some another uh, uh, version control system like Bitbucket then how can you manage all these uh, different version control system and push your code to those repositories because uh, what we do is we do SSH setup so that you can copy uh, SSH public keys to these uh, different uh, portals GitLab, GitHub so how can you manage that so whenever you do whenever you do git clone from Bitbucket, git clone from GitLab, git clone from GitHub it should be able to identify your uh, private SSH keys and then SSH can happen. So first of all, we are going to take a look onto that, how you can manage the multiple pro GitHub profiles together. Once you understand that, then we will push the code to GitLab and GitHub and we will proceed further. Let's say uh, you are using GitHub for your personal projects and you have a GitLab for your uh, organizational project and you are using Bitbucket for any some third party. And in that case, because you are managing the, all these repositories, how you can manage the SSH connections to all these repositories? Obviously, you are not going to put the same SSH private key to all the uh, organization account, your personal account or your Bitbucket account. So in that case, how we can manage it? So there is a smart way of doing it. You can uh, manage it and you can upload the different SSH keys to these GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket. And how we do it? So whenever you see any uh, repository, what are the different ways to clone any rep repository? When you try to clone any repository, what you do? Either you do HTTPS, SSH or GitLab CLI. Mostly we do SSH. In the SSH, for doing SSH, you need to first upload your SSH keys to the account. So let's say this is my GitHub account. What I will do is if uh, I, I have my brand new account, I did sign up and I created a simple repository. Then how can I do push, pull, create branch, push the branch, create MR, create a pull request and all. After creating SSH keys only, you can establish a secure connection to your GitHub. So this is where you will do. You will add a new SSH keys. So in your uh, settings from here, you will go to your settings and inside settings here, you will see SSH, SSH keys, add new SSH key and here. You will add any title and your you will put your uh, public SSH key here. Okay, this is what you will do. But for that, we need to create three SSH keys. Okay, github.com for my personal uses, uh, gitlab.com for my organizational uses, and Bitbucket. And how we can configure the SSH profile so that uh, when I do a, a clone from the GitHub, it should be able to use that appropriate SSH key because here. I will be using a different SSH keys. Let's say personal tks.pub. So we need to tell SSH while doing a clone that okay, you need to use this particular SSH key. So that is the 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 important part here. Rest all it is simple. Here, let's say here it is org org, and this is third party. You might have seen this kind of a scenario where you are actually working for different uh, vendors like in the freelancing stuff then you might encounter this thing and then you need to manage uh, to the SSH connections by creating a different uh, public private keys using SSH. So this whole process is divided into these five steps. Create an SSH keys for all the accounts. Add SSH keys to SSH agent which you are using locally. Add SSH public keys to your GitHub account, GitLab, Bitbucket and create a config file. So th these four points are important. First, okay, I will create a three or four SSH keys based on, okay, my personal, my organizational, my third party or third pa other third party. So different SSH keys and then I will start cloning the GitHub repositories from a different account. Okay, so how should we do it? I will just save this file and here we will start doing it. So how to create a SSH file? This is the first step. 
create ssh files okay so that is simple command okay i will create a uh, multiple ssh files for that so how should we do it first we need to navigate to your ssh directory okay i already have some ssh keys okay now i will just use this file okay let's say i'm creating ssh for office usage and my email for the office is this one it is creating a i do, i'm not passing any passphrase it is done it has created one uh, ssh keys with the name as let me just check if it is created or not and you can see these two files are created one private key and one public key now i will create another for my personal uses github tarun personal right i'm not passing any passphrase let's keep this empty and then these are the the files which are important i'm talking about two examples here okay uh github office and github personal now next thing is we need to add these to the ssh using ssh agent so there is a simple command for that ssh add minus k i think and then you just need to pass your ssh i think we are already in the current working directory so i can just do github and this is ssh add okay deprecated so we just can skip this thing identity added so your identity should get added and then github there is a another thing is github office we have added so we'll talk about personal one so both the identities has been added this is the second step we are doing and in the third step what we need to do is we need to copy these uh, public keys and then so we have to for the first of all we have added these identities using private key so public keys are added with a dot uh, pub if you see these are public keys and this is the private private we have added in the ssh identity now we will just copy the public keys and we will start adding them to our uh, github account and how we can do it we can just use simply these commands because copy should happen properly right so either you can use this command or you copy it manually so i have copied this and what i need to do is i will go to my ssh and here i will do is tks demo or i will just do temp and here i will paste it okay this is for the office one i can copy the personal one so make sure you are doing the the right one okay and then uh, what did i do okay it should be public key not uh, private key okay now it is my personal one and i'm adding adding this to the my personal account add ssh key this is a temporary i need to use my github mobile to add it it's a two factor authentication so now we are good i have added uh, both the keys temporary and this one okay so both keys are added now i can start accessing the repositories i can clone i can uh, do all these things but before that there is a third step is we need to create ssh config so the same thing you can do for the other one like the office one and let's say if you have a gitlab account or github account this is your office one right let's say you have a gitlab or github or bitbucket there you need to copy and paste it so this one is my personal github project and here i can do security ssh keys i will go to the settings i think preference this would be option where i can add ssh keys so this is let's say this is for my office okay i can add a new key first of all i will delete so you can delete if uh, that has not been used recently and this is let's say i'm using for the private for the office one so i can add a new key and that's it expiration you can also set expiry here let's say december i'm not going to use it for long it's temporary add a key so this key has been added now there are two keys you have added uh, okay now what i will do is i will the, what is the third step third step is 
adding uh, as such configuration so we need to tell whenever you are doing a clone how would we know that you need while doing this clone uh, which is because github doesn't know where the repository is this repository may be on the your personal or maybe on the your uh, organization one because what happens is here the domain is different but there may be a case that you have your office one is also on the github or gitlab this is also your office one in that case because the domains are the same how do we know that which ssh key you need to use while doing cloning because ssh key is the primary thing that will allow you to ssh to the, that github repository and clone that repository and push pull all the other stuff how do we know we need to point we need to actually create alias using ssh config and same alias we need to use as a host name so currently we are using same host name github.com or gitlab.com gitlab.com so we are trying to create alias something like this github gitlab office here i will say gitlab personal and wherever we are using the domain to in the clone uh, repository url we will use these names alias and these alias we will map in the config so let's take a look on to that okay so here we have done this step and then now the third step is i mean the last step is creating the configuration so that is nothing but an ssh config you need to create inside ssh so i will first talk about how that look like let's uh, create any random file it's just for demo you will so what this file is talking about it is saying is if you want to use github.com maybe for your office which is using this tarun office as a public key or private key identity file i mean this is the private key which is, which is on your local system then you would be using hostname as .com tarun office because you already know that okay i'm cloning a repository from from my organization project or my personal project so you will be using the appropriate names github.com tarun office .com okay this will be your host name not github.com forward slash and if you are using for personal this will become your host name for personal it will be using this identity file okay this is just a simple because mm -hmm. uh, i already have my ssh keys and i don't want it to corrupt it let's say i will show you how it really look like in the real so we are opening ssh -H. so here if you can see my organizational private key obviously i'm not exposing anything everything is on my system this is my personal github tk sharma or uh, here if i wanted to clone the repository from my organization i will do, do gitlab mercants and here gitlab fs just a third party my my own projects personal projects i will do it something like this so what i was talking about is you just need to configure it like this and let me talk about uh, this configuration in the detail what this is talking about okay i didn't save that file now if you wanted to add a third one what the third one will say is okay i'm adding this for my github uh, third party obviously for that i need to have okay tarun third party here and here github.com maybe everything is on github.com let's say here i will be using party okay so i need to create another ssh file i need to configure it now once this is configured while cloning the repository you will be using host let's say i'm using a third party uh, repository to clone which is obviously private only i have access because i have uploaded my public key there and i have added identity of that private key private ssh key on my local using ssh agent ssh add which i have already done so i need to just use this host name so when you do the git clone let's say if i want to clone this repository what i will do is this is the clone repository git clone okay i will just save this thing control c 
I can save. Now, if I do, let me just go to the repository, git clone. Here, what is the host name? Host name is a github.com. But here, the host name will change. Host name is not github.com in our case. Let's say if it is my personal project, then you will use the same host name which you have added in the config file. This will become your host name. Now, when you are, because it's a git command, git will say, okay, you are trying to do a search using this host name. Let me get your uh, private key and public key. All the communication will happen and then it will allow you because you already have uploaded your public key to the account. So it will allow you. So, I mean, I didn't configure it. Uh, it. I was just showing you the demo, but this is how it will happen. If you are using your office one, then this will become something like this. You will just change this personal to the office one. And I guarantee you this works really fine. You just need to configure it something like this. Okay. This is very simple setup and this is really required when you work with the multiple repositories of uh, different accounts and you are doing SSH. You are doing cloning using uh, SSH. Then how you can manage the different public private keys for the, these different accounts. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone. This is all about how you manage the different accounts on the same system.